I, I wish they would just do away with that term because if you took a hundred people from the age of thirty to forty five or fifty, all of them are going to have degenerative disc disease. What does that mean? Nothing. It means absolutely nothing. Is that disc sticking out far enough or it's protruding enough to push on a nerve root? Well, that's a different story. Now you got like a herniation, not really a bulge anymore. Um, but but people who don't know, they hear the, they hear the word disease automatically. They're like, I'm dead. That's it. Like, right. The, the, the word disease is also it's going to kill you. Degenerative. There's these big fancy terms. Uh, to me, it, it, you're just telling the person they have natural aging process. Um, now on an X-ray, you can see this the the, the size is, is different. Like you know that L5 all of a sudden is like you barely fit a piece of paper through there. Right. That's when an MRI is called for because why is it lost its height? Is it protruding because it's been herniated, which you're not going to see on an X-ray. X-ray only shows dense stuff, so bone and cartilage. You will see nothing else on an X-ray. You'll see dead space, which may may suggest that there's something going on there, but you're not going to know until you do the MRI. So the MRI will tell you, all right, well, now you've lost that disc space because you have a massive herniation to the left side of the of the vertebrae. And that's why the disc height is so much smaller. All right, well, now it's not degenerative disc disease. It's a, it's a herniation at L5. And so it's then what we do now that? it's specific to the person. Now it's specific to the person, to that specific level. It's not just, oh, you have degenerative disc disease across your spine. Oh, yeah, okay, duh. So is everybody else. But now that level, and now that correlates with, now you have sensation issues on this side of your leg. Okay, that's the L5 dermatome. You have weakness in this sort of muscle. That's the L5 myotome. Okay, all this makes sense in conjunction with an MRI to give you your actual specific diagnosis instead of just a right. blanket term. Um, and part of that is verbiage that's been used for years, and they just do it because we've always done it. Part of it is laziness. Part of it is they don't have the time to dive a little deeper into what's going on. So they just give you that kind of blanket term. There's a lot of reasons why you do that kind of thing, but it's a, it's a garbage term to me. I wish they would stop using it. 